I think that'd be fun more than anything. I don't think it'll be tactically sound. I think it'll be the best tactic. It'll leave me wide open and too many too much of my army too many points of my army will be in those squads of or in those units that have blood lands, but I just think it'd be really fun. I can picture in my mind these uh, drop pods falling down from the sky with the ethereal soul librarians inside them and their blood lances, their like, lines dropping all over the place and just causing a lot of havoc and terror. It'd be a lot of fun. It would probably be... See, I would want to do it against like mechanized guard or um, any actually any yeah, any army that has a lot of mechanized whatever because lance brings any armor above 12 down to 12 so it'd be really good lance weapons are actually scary really scary for that that very reason like land raiders are no longer as strong they're very vulnerable I'm almost done clipping this off here. Time really flies when you're talking to yourself about nothing. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all fun. So, I have this DVD uh, series called Fringe. Looking at the first season right now. It's on top of the desk. And I want to give it a try because my brother-in-law uh, we share similar tastes in our entertainment choices, i.e. movies and video games. And he said that I would really like Fringe. So, I'm going to pose a question to you guys to see what you think. Would I like Fringe? To give you some more background as to my taste in entertainment, I'll list off a whole bunch of shows and movies that I like. And so maybe you could use that information as a comparative analysis and tell me if, tell me whether or not I like Fringe. So I enjoyed Lost. I'm not going to lie. I liked that show when I watched it. Um, I would not watch it again. But when I did watch it, I watched it marathon style. I saw all six seasons. Was it six or seven? I don't remember. I watched all of the seasons in a row in a matter of a month. So every day after after the kids went to bed, I'd be watching Lost. Episode after episode after episode. And it was good going on that Lost marathon. It was fun. I was uh, sad when it was over and relieved at the same time. Because that is one of those shows where you just can't simply watch one episode and let it go. There's way too many unanswered questions. Kind of like the smoke monster. That wasn't answered until much later. And you're wondering what it is, like, within the first few episodes of the series. So, like, things like that, I just, I had to know. So that's why I prefer watching shows on DVD all at once. That's what I did with, uh, Walking Dead. I watched the first season on DVD. And I know that the second season is out right now. And episodes are being made for it. But I refuse to watch it week to week. Because I can't do it. I just... I, I can't. I have to watch it all at once because I'm too impatient. Which is... Probably sounds really ironic because you would think that it takes like a lot of patience to wait for the whole second season to be done so I can watch it all at once. But it, it makes a difference, because when I finally get to watch the whole thing, when it's all done, then I just get to watch as much as I want in at one time, and I don't have to be left waiting. The only thing that stops me from watching in a row is sleep. If I get tired, I have to sleep. Then the next day, I can watch a whole bunch more in a row. That's how I like to be entertained, is to go through marathons. That's the best way to do it. Have you ever done a Lord of the Rings marathon where you watch all three parts, 
all three movies and you watch the extended versions of all three movies, not just the regular ones. Have you ever done that before? It takes a long time. It takes like 11 to 12 hours. Like, it takes a long time. But it's so satisfying because all the details are fresh in your mind and you get to reap that benefit. It's, it's good. It's a good thing to do. Okay, I'm almost done this last one here. I may have said this a few minutes ago, but I was actually looking at the, the only the one sprue I was working on. There's three sheets of sprue sheets if you will. There's three sprues in a drop pod um, box. And I'm working on the third one now of the last one. And it's uh, exciting to be almost done. Because when you get to the end of a race, that's when you run the fastest. Okay, so I'm uh, getting kind of funny feeling right now because um, I had some pretty bad pain and I'm taking Demerol, I was prescribed Demerol and um, it's starting to kick in right now. So for those of you who have taken Demerol, it's, pretty, it's a pretty strong narcotic. I mean, it's one right below morphine in terms of, uh, I guess, strength, right? Or at least that's what uh, the nurse tells me. And the nurse happens to be my wife, so I believe her. I'm not going to disbelieve her. She knows her stuff. She's more educated in these matters than I am. But when it comes to gaming, I beat her. So that's... That's just how that works. I know, that sounds ridiculous. Who even cares? Okay, Storm Bolters. Can't forget about the Storm Bolter. Are there any of you that have drop pods that actually use the missile? that it comes with. Is it Typhoon Missile? Or is it uh, something, another type of missile? I can't, I can't remember. Because I never equip it, I always just leave the default Storm Bolter on it because I expect drop pods to just die after they come on to the battlefield. I don't care about weapons that they have. Although it really isn't that bad. I mean, Armor 12, if you think about it, isn't too, too bad. I mean, it's not the best, but still, it's, uh, it's not like you're shooting at a bunch of land speeders. Okay, so here it goes. That's done. Now it's time to clean this up. So if I do need to clean it up, it's important that all these pieces are nice and clean and smooth. So for those of you who are watching this video for the video itself, um, I apologize because you can't see my face. I'm not focusing on that. I'm focusing on talking more than I am uh, trying to get my face in the picture. Not that it matters. The only time that I actually care about being in the frame is when I'm showing you things. Have you ever clipped a piece of sprue off of whatever you're working on and it flies like right back in your eyes? That didn't just happen to me, by the way. I'm just wondering if it's happened to you because that's kind of funny. So let's talk about some armies that you like fighting against. I like fighting against 
orcs. I fought against the orcs a lot. I know the orcs 